Welcome back to chapter nine. We are at section four, translation. By the end of this section, you will be able to describe the different steps in protein synthesis, discuss the role of ribosomes in protein synthesis, describe the genetic code and how the nucleotide sequence determines the amino acid and the protein sequence. The synthesis of proteins is one of a cell's most energy consuming metabolic processes. In turn, proteins account for more mass than any other component of living organisms, with the exception of water, and proteins perform a wide variety of the functions of a cell. The process of translation, or protein synthesis, involves decoding a messenger RNA message into a polypeptide product. Amino acids are covalently strung together in lengths ranging from approximately 50 amino acids to more than a thousand. The protein synthesis machinery. In addition to the mRNA template, many other molecules contribute to the process of translation. The composition of each component may vary across species. For instance, ribosomes may consist of different numbers of ribosomal RNAs, rRNA, and polypeptides depending on the organism. However, the general structure and functions of the protein synthesis machinery are comparable from bacteria to human cells. Translation requires the input of a messenger RNA template, ribosomes, transfer RNAs, and various enzymatic factors. In Escherichia coli, there are 200,000 ribosomes present in every cell at any given time. A ribosome is a complex macromolecule composed of structural and catalytic ribosomal RNAs and many distinct polypeptides. In eukaryotes, the nucleolus is completely specialized for the synthesis and assembly of ribosomal RNAs. Ribosomes are located in the cytoplasm in prokaryotes and in the cytoplasm and endoplasmic reticulum of eukaryotes. Ribosomes are made up of a large and a small subunit that come together for translation. The small subunit is responsible for binding the mRNA template, whereas the large subunit sequentially binds tRNAs, a type of RNA molecule that brings amino acids to the growing chain of polypeptide. Each mRNA molecule is simultaneously translated by many ribosomes, all synthesizing protein in the same direction. Depending on the species, 40 to 60 types of tRNA exist in the cytoplasm. Serving as adapters, specific tRNAs bind to sequences on the mRNA template and add the corresponding amino acid to the polypeptide chain. Therefore, tRNAs are the molecules that actually translate the language of RNA into the language of proteins. For each tRNA to function, it must have its specific amino acid bonded to it. In the process of tRNA charging, each tRNA molecule is bonded to its correct amino acid. The genetic code. To summarize what we know to this point, the cellular process of transcription generates messenger RNA, a mobile molecular copy of one or more genes with an alphabet of A, C, G, and uracil, Translation of the mRNA template converts nucleotide-based genetic information into a protein product. Protein sequences consist of 20 commonly occurring amino acids. Therefore, it can be said that the protein alphabet consists of 20 letters. Each amino acid is defined by a three nucleotide sequence called the triplet codon. The relationship between a nucleotide codon and its corresponding amino acid is called the genetic code. Given the different number of letters in the mRNA and protein alphabets, combinations of nucleotides corresponded to single amino acids. Using a three nucleotide code means that there are a total of 64, so four times four times four, as each codon consists of three letters and those three letters can be made up of one of four nucleotides. Therefore, a given amino acid is encoded by more than one nucleotide triplet, which you can see here. So the fact that there are multiple 
codons that code for the same amino acid is also referred to as degeneracy. Three of the 64 codons terminate protein synthesis and release the polypeptide from the translation machinery. These triplets are called stop codons. Another codon, AUG, also has a special function. In addition to specifying the amino acid methionine, it also serves as the start codon to initiate translation. The reading frame for translation is set by the AUG start codon near the 5' prime end of the mRNA. The genetic code is universal. With few exceptions, virtually all species use the same genetic code for protein synthesis, which is powerful evidence that all life on Earth shares a common origin. The Mechanism of Protein Synthesis Just as with mRNA synthesis, protein synthesis can be divided into three phases, initiation, elongation, and termination. The process of translation is similar in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Here we will explore how translation occurs in Escherichia coli, a representative prokaryote, and specify any differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic translation. Protein synthesis begins with the formation of an initiation complex. In the E. coli, this complex involves the small ribosomal subunit, the mRNA template, three initiation factors, and a special initiator, tRNA. The initiator, tRNA, interacts with the AUG start codon and links to a special form of the amino acid methionine that is typically removed from the polypeptide after translation is complete. In prokaryotes and eukaryotes, the basics of polypeptide elongation are the same, so we will review elongation from the perspective of E. coli. The large ribosomal subunit of E. coli consists of three compartments. The A site binds the incoming charge tRNA, tRNAs with their attached to specific amino acids. The P site binds the charged tRNAs carrying amino acids that have formed bonds with the growing polypeptide chain but have not yet disassociated from their corresponding tRNA. The E site releases dissociated tRNAs so they can be recharged with free amino acids. The ribosome shifts one codon at a time, catalyzing each process that occurs in the three sites. With each step, a charged tRNA enters the complex, the polypeptide becomes one amino acid longer, and an uncharged tRNA departs. The energy for each bond between amino acids is derived from GTP, a molecule similar to ATP. Amazingly, the E. coli translation apparatus takes only 0.05 seconds to add each amino acid, meaning that a 200 amino acid polypeptide could be translated in just 10 seconds. Termination of translation occurs when a stop codon, UAA, UAG, or UGA, is encountered. When the ribosome encounters the stop codon, the growing polypeptide is released and the ribosome subunits dissociate and leave the mRNA. After many ribosomes have completed translation, the mRNA is degraded so the nucleotides can be reused in another transcription reaction. This brings us to the end of section 4, translation. Join me next time for section 5, how genes are regulated.